Wanted some advice or recommendations. Uh, had a tournament with friends and I won one and lost five with Vamp deck. Want to do some damage for the next tourney. What decks should I look into other than Melodious, Blue Eyes, and Harpies? Any help is appreciated. What should you look at other than Melodious, Blue Eyes, and Harpies? Well, dude, I'd hate to say it, but the water deck, if you're not going to play Melodious or Harpies, you know, you could look at the water deck. If you want a very sacky linear deck, Destiny Heroes is probably the best deck that is not Melodious or Harpies right now. I'm going to say Destiny Heroes is going to be your main option, but Destiny Heroes is very expensive. Magnets is also very consistent, but it's expensive. You need tech cards from many, many, many different boxes to make Magnets viable. So, yeah, your options, you know, you're... They're all very, uh, you know, deep, deep dives. Heroes and Magnets specifically are very deep dives. You know, three straightos. What do you side against water? I don't know, man. DNA surgery? Make them not water? Make them wind? That, that, that'll work. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Side Santa Claus! <laughs> oh my god. Territory of the Sharks. This is, a, this is an extremely good opener for a water deck. This is a busted opener for the water deck here. Abyss Dweller. Plus another Atlantean. Two back row. That is a cracked opener for the water deck. Cyber Dragon is here. But he's going to have to play through a... Abyss Dweller effect and two back row and one of those back row is for Bitty Chalice to negate the Cyber Dragon core effect. Oh my gosh, DDD is not making it easy for Phoenix by any means. Phoenix, what are you gonna do, bro? You said F the water deck, but the Chalice and DTH in the same opening hand, dude. DDD says, Phoenix, you've been talking too much shit on the water deck. Get the fuck out of my tournament, brother. He said, eat this forbidden Chalice and TTH combo. Oh my god. Get him the heck out of there. Phoenix, you should have bought a better gaming chair. He has a better gaming chair than you. His deck is just better built than you. He is the better duelist. What are you going to do, dude? What are you going to do, Phoenix? It's not looking good for you right now. Abyss Dweller is swinging in direct. What does Phoenix have up his sleeve? Two, still two set back row. Drowning Amidu Foss! Uh, Drowning Mirror Force is threatening to send the Abyss Dweller back to the deck right now. What will DDD have to say? Drowning Mirror Force is here. Phoenix said, oh yeah, you thought I was done, man? F the water deck. Get those monsters back to the deck! DDD does not have an answer for the Drowning Mirror Force and his monsters disappear. Phoenix now back on the offensive. He needs a crazy top deck here to press the advantage against the water deck. The water deck is the weakest when they cannot one card Z summon at willy-nilly. Right now, DDD has no cards in his hand. Cybernetic Overflow on the field. Gonna banish Cyber Dragon from his graveyard. Destroy that final back row. Banished a Cyber Dragon core. That's dangerous, dude. What about score effect from the grave? He doesn't care. He's got another core in the hand. Go, Cyber Dragon core. Cyber Dragon core's effect activates. Cyber Emergency to the hand. Phoenix is not going to go down that easily. Cyber Emergency activate. Add another Cyber Dragon from my deck to my hand. Give me... The Cyber Dragon Nashter. Wow, dude. Phoenix had it all set up. Just enough cards. Nashter. Discard a Cyber Dragon. Summon it to the field. He still got the vanilla Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. That's why he banished the core instead. Oh my god. What a turnaround. Double Skull Hutch Doe activation of the Cyber Style Evolution. What a turnaround play for Phoenix. X, you should come. Go, Cyber Dragon Nova. Cyber Dragon Nova's effect activates. <laughs> Too easy. Oh my gosh, Phoenix. 
DDD blew his load on Phoenix, both his huge back row disruptors. He blew them in one turn against Phoenix with two back row. How can you be so careless? How can you be so careless as to use both of your disruption effects against Cyber Dragon in one turn when they're still packing the back row? That was a super greedy play from the water deck. A super greedy play. Insanely greedy there. Hopefully DDD recognizes that he cannot just be, you know, blowing his power plays against Cyber Dragon like that. God Hand Water versus some Shiny Mirror Force. Exactly. That was the water deck God Hand right there, and he threw it away. Trying to protect his measly resources, his measly Xyz monster, dude, he could do nothing to protect them. And now this is a water deck. Ooh, triple set back row diva. He gets another water deck god hand. Triple set back row diva. Oh my gosh. DDD said, yeah, you did it once. Do it again real quick. If you want to win the tournament, you got to do it again. Oh my gosh. Phoenix, can you out the Water Deck God Hand twice in a row? Can you do it? Bear Bloom X, what up, brother? What are you gonna do, Phoenix? Let's go. Let's see the plays. Triple set back row. Phoenix has to play around everything. Has to play around Chalice. Mystical Space Typhoon to start off the turn. What does he hit? He needs to hit something big here. A Chalice. A TTH. A Book of Moon, that'll that'll help a little bit. Cyber Dragon here, Chalice not going to have any effect on him. Go, Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core's effect activates. Do we see Chalice on this effect? There it is, Forbidden Chalice. Going to negate the Cyber Dragon Core's effect. Does he have any way to out that? Or will he just eat the Chalice negate? And yes, he will. Let's hope he has some other plans for that Cyber Dragon Core. Oh! Main phase, activate! Abyss Dweller, Heavy Infantry will pop the Cyber Dragon. Now the graveyard effects are negated. Phoenix, don't tell me that was all you had in store, dude. He's got two cards left. Alright, he's playing it safe. Hopefully... For him to get out of this, he's going to have to have access to Overflow once more in an MST. Will hit a 50-50 on Phoenix's back right here, and he pops a Drowning Mirror Force. <gasps> that Drowning. He does. He hits the Drowning, but he doesn't hit the other back row. He needs that other back row to be Overflow. There's a Cyber Dragon in the grave and a Core on the field. That's going to be two pops. C overflow here will put him in a very good position, dude. Abyssal swing in on the core, and there is no cybernetic overflow. Cyber Dragon Core sent to the graveyard, but the Abyss Dweller can activate its effect next turn to negate graveyard effects next turn as well. The top deck from Phoenix has to be busted here in order for him to win. This is his last turn as far as I'm concerned. Abyss Dweller detach in the draw phase, negate graveyard effects right now. Here's Cyber Dragon! It's enough, he's stronger than the Abyss Dweller. What's the back row? It has to be Book of Moon if he wants to stop Cyber Dragon here. It is just stronger than the Abyss Dweller because it has no overlay units. Top deck Cyber Dragon, go. Boom, and he gets rid of it. Now DDD himself is in a top deck mode. He needs a top deck Diva or Buzzsaw Shark in order to get out another Xyz monster. It's not guaranteed. DDD, what did he top deck? He top decks two, he top decks back row. That is not good back row at most is going to be defensive tth book of moon we have not yet seen the tth it is still live he doesn't have any traps phoenix top decks a back row as well but tth is dead right now the cyber dragon is gonna swing in here only book of moon can stop it and he connects for 2100 damage DDD cannot eat another Cyber Dragon attack. One more and it's over.
top deck ddd what is it mystical space typhoon top deck going for the 50 50 will he destroy the remaining back row from before yes he will it is cybernetic overflow flipping up he's gonna get rid of the rest of your back row and that is gonna be gg for cyber dragons he has a cyber dragon and a core in the graveyard to banish them that's two back row destruction clear his back row defeat the water deck defeat God hit water that twice in a row destroys treacherous trap hole and book of moon. What the heck, Phoenix? Absolutely insane. Phoenix out the God hand water deck. Two duels in a row. F water deck, dude. Holy shit. Phoenix does it against all odds.